Hi there, sign of Aquarius. This is Kim here to do your reading next 48 hour. And I hope you're doing really good. We're going to ask that your spirit team join us, your spirit guides, your angels. So we get messages for you most high. Always that is the intent. And I'm using the journey of the sacred beauty. I do have private reading still available if you're interested in that. That information is in the description box. Oops. All right. Messages for Aquarius. Next 48 hours. bottom of the deck, the five of cups. So there's something from the past. Um, this card brings the uh, vulture spirit that says nothing is wasted. So definitely looking at those two, uh, well, actually three cups, sorry, that you still have. If you're going by this card, traditional tarot might be a little bit different. Wow. That's nice. Oh, wow. Wow. That's good. Nice. Who else had this? Pisces, maybe? Or Scorpio? It was either Cancer Pisces or Scorpio that had that, too. Oh, wow. 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 Guys, this is a good reading. This is a really good reading. Let's get into your reading because this is really good. Past energy. I have the injustice uh, card. So feeling like some kind of injustice had, had occurred here in the past um, or that something just wasn't fair. Um, maybe it was also a situation where the truth was just kind of obscured. Wow. It, it, it feels like it may have had to do with a financial windfall or gain or somebody that was doing some kind of entrepreneurship thing on their own. And there may be something that was just kind of like unclear, not necessarily always unfair, but maybe something that was not balanced. It might be regarding money. This might be a big win to you. Right here in the past, recent past. Hmm. So then we come to alchemy card or temperance, beautiful energy. Um, this has people getting along. Um, this brings, yeah, this brings some kind of information where people are getting along better. Um, you can say that the chemistry is, is kind of uh, adjusted. Maybe your angels behind scenes, you know, it usually is kind of like first assist from your spirit team. The magician is the challenge. So it feels like, it feels like the challenge is one, believing in this magic that the impossible is possible. And you, you can with this, um, that's absolutely true. Uh, the magician is like, you can create whatever you want. There is something about the conditions and having like all the right elements that you need and divine timing and patience with your uh, manifestation. The emperor in reverse as the heart of the matter, it, it could be that, uh, it could be that there's somebody in like charge or authority that uh, that you make you, making you feel like you're, like you don't know how you're supposed to feel. You may feel like you're in the dark about something with the sun in the reverse in the spot is how you're feeling. You could feel like something is not, like something is out of your hands or out of your control. Um, and this can be representing some kind of other authority too. So tell me about this heart of the matter. Tell me what's going on there. You have the five of wands, by the way, uh, crowning you with the ace of wands in the reverse as the in the environment so this is a past issue that it's kind of like you're working on or working through a past issue um, 
no arguing though, no pettiness, no games, and something from the past, something from the past. The three of swords here at the heart of the matter, so the heart was hurt, that is sadness or sorrow or pain. Um, the challenge would be healing the heart, then healing the heart. So give us more information on um, this magician energy since it's what's in the uh, challenge. We have the magician in the reverse. So it is really saying that you need to believe more in your magic because this comes out when either you don't feel like you have the magic or you feel like the spark, something is missing there. Um, that is that energy you have to believe, of course, that you have the magic. And, and you do. So tell me about this sun in reverse. The three of pentacle in reverse and the wheel of fortune. You could be feeling like, uh, like you're learning something, um, on your own in a sense, or you're, um, possibly, uh, being, maybe getting more education might be how you're feeling or, or higher learning or something like that. You may feel like not cooperating in a certain situation because of some kind of heartache or heart pain. It's 33. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Empress in Reverse in the environment. Empress in Reverse is the energy of somebody having to do themselves first before they can help anybody else. And it might be like maybe that energy of spending some time to yourself or investing time spoiling yourself or something like that. Tell us more about that. Of course, the five of wands in reverse too. The solution, finding the solution to whatever, so this is like the solution to whatever issue you feel like you don't have control over because it, this card, nine of one, nine of swords, sorry, with the eight of wands together, I mean, there's really good news and there's something that's going to move forward for you into a really positive direction with the eight of wands. It's actually good news. Um, it's, it's nothing to lose sleep over. Uh, and I think that's what it's saying is like, okay, you may feel like you have, uh, this could happen, this could happen, this could happen situation, but look, the eight of wands is here too with it, meaning you, there's nothing to worry about. King of wands, uh, here in the future energy, happy building something inspirational, knows how to how to uh, create or build something and it can't becomes divine timing divine timing is now uh, rem that is what reminds me of that card divine timing is now or unwinding right or patience paying off tell me about the queen of swords reverse this is kind of like a it's in the hope or fear and it has to do with not being very decided um, or somebody not knowing what their focus is, or you maybe feeling kind of undecided, maybe regarding a commitment or cooperation within a commitment with the Hierophant energy, something traditional. Hmm. Tell me more about this, um, Queen of Swords. Sun in reverse. It's something that's just not been revealed, or that hasn't it that isn't revealed, or something that feels hidden. Maybe a decision, or a, maybe something that somebody is uh, has decided. Tell me about the nine of swords. The 
two of pentacle in reverse feeling like it was off balance um feeling like the ups and downs were just too much here or thinking about how the ups and downs were in the past has got you kind of in your head so that's the message like okay whatever was off balance or not balanced is going to change with the eight of wands it gets better the good news comes in and something just gets a lot better Anything else? Anything else? For Aquarius, anything else? Ooh, connecting the heart of the matter with how you're feeling is uh, King of Pentacles, Taurus energy. You have Taurus, Taurus, both of these. So something is definitely getting better um, regarding finances and money, too, and uh, commitment, cooperation regarding a commitment to um, maybe group or something like that, or family. All right, so we're gonna use a Ask the Angels now card and um, maybe pull a few more Oracle cards after that. So sometimes you can answer a yes or no question with these, not all the time though. Whoa, <laughs> too many. So there's a yes, there's a yes. And it's, it's the balance that, you know, usually in temperance here, balancing. So there's another thing with temperance um, and things maybe coming into balance. And it's up to you. It's up to you. Whoa, oh my goodness. And then here is abundance, abundance. That's so beautiful, I love it. It's just beautiful. That's what I got, tea leaves and some fairy dust and we'll end this uh, reading with that. Unless it gives us something like that. <laughs> and we will have to figure out what that means. Whoa, too many. Shark, take care. There will be a loss of material wealth. Axe, forces working against you. Goodness. Wall, a miscommunication or misunderstanding. Older man, dealings or relationship with an older man. Great. It's time to go out and have fun. Dagger, fears, worries, tense situations, grasshopper situations in the balance that require careful handling, butterfly, a change for the better, and purse, another, another indication to be watchful of your um, finances. So you know what, let's get, um, let's get some clarifying uh, from the tarot on this because we all want to find out what this is about. Tell me about um, the shark energy or the axe energy tell us more information about that oh, okay so you'll have many choices and options uh, available to you it looks like and if you don't think that all are very clear then yeah be careful like with people with pyramid schemes and stuff like that or trying to not have you see right you got to be careful with the money especially Careful with your money if you're going out drinking or something that could alter how you're viewing things. Because there could be loss or disappointment associated with some kind of money situation. Also, it's kind of like seduction. And there you go, the King of Cups. So there maybe it's like seduction or something like that. Uh, Queen of Wands reverse. So it feels like the King of Cups is here as like somebody new possibly entering your life. Um, again, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, it is also paired with, though, the Queen of Wands. So it feels like maybe this person was going to say something to you or was going to communicate something but just hasn't yet. Or it was a misunderstanding, some kind of misunderstanding here. Um, of, of why a, a risk wasn't taken or be careful and don't take risk at this time. Especially with the, the money situation, I think. All right, 
and I have creative life is a canvas for you to use paint all the colors of the happy moods I have rain 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 comes today but let all your troubles be washed away which there is a lot of rain today and <laughs> yesterday be strong when trouble seems to be brewing near your inner strength will keep you clear and backpack get out your compass adventure is yours get out of the city and enjoy the outdoors and let's see what you're manifesting with the Moonology deck. And we'll close with this. New Moon in Libra. Know you are loved. That's what I've got for you, Aquarius. Sending you love and light. Bye-bye, guys.